Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice Diophantine equation. a minus 2ab plus b is equal to negative 122. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b such that a and b are positive integers. So let's start. First we multiply the whole equation by 2. So this equation will become 2 times a minus 4 times a b plus 2 b is equal to negative 244. Now from these two terms negative 4 a b plus 2 b we can factor out 2 b. So this will become 2 times a minus 2 times b as common factor in bracket left 2 a minus 1 is equal to negative 244. Now because here inside parentheses we have 2a minus 1. So to make this 2a same as this 2a minus 1 we subtract 1 from both sides. So this will become 2 times a we subtract 1 from left hand side. This is negative 2b times 2a minus 1 remains same negative 2 times b times 2a minus 1 is equal to negative 244 and we subtract 1 from the right hand side. To make this 2a minus 1 a group we use parenthesis and as you can see this expression 2a minus 1 is a common factor so we factor out this 2a minus 1 and uh, in back left uh, 1 from here and uh, negative 2b from here negative 2b is equal to negative 244 minus 1 will become negative 245. Now we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1 and the left hand side we multiply by negative 1. So this 2a minus 1 remains same 2 times a minus 1 and negative 1 times negative 2b will become positive 2b. Negative 1 times 1 will become negative 1 is equal to this negative 245 times negative 1 will become positive 200 45. Now we have product of uh, two factors left hand side and both a and b are positive integers. So this uh, 245 can be factorized as uh, 1 time 245 and uh, 245 times 1 and uh, 5 times uh, 40 9, 49 times 5, and 7 times 35, and 35 times 7. It means that we have 6 cases. This is case 1, this is case 2, this is case 3, this is case 4, this is case 5, and this is case number 6. First we solve this case number 1, 1 times 244 in case 1 we write these factors 2 times a minus 1 times 2 times b minus 1 equal to 1 times 245 so this 2a minus 1 will be equal to 1 2a minus 1 equal to 1 and this 2b minus 1, 2 times b minus 1 will be equal to this 245, 245. From this equation we move this negative 1 to the right hand side, this will become 2 times a is equal to 1 plus 1, 2. Divide both sides by 2, this implies that a is equal to 1. 
and from this equation move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become 2 times b is equal to 245 plus 1 246 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that b is equal to 123 so from this case we get the value of a 1 and value of b 123 now we solve the second case in second case we have 245 times 1 in case number 2 we write these factors 2 times a minus 1 times 2 times b minus 1 equal to 245 times 1 so this 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 will be equal to 245 this 2b minus 1 2 times b minus 1 will be equal to 1 move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become 2a is equal to 246 and this implies that a is equal to 123 from this equation add 1 to both sides this will become 2 times b is equal to 2 and this implies that b is equal to 1 from this case we get value of a 123 and value of b 1 now we solve the third case 5 times 49 in case number 3 we write these factors 2 times a minus 1 times 2 times b minus 1 equal to 5 times 49 so this 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 will be equal to 5 and this 2b minus 1 will be equal to 49 add 1 to both sides this will become 2a is equal to 6 and this implies that a is equal to 3 from this equation add 1 to both sides this will become 2 times b is equal to 50 and this implies that b is equal to 25 from this case we get value of a 3 and value of b 25 we solve the fourth case in case 4 we have a 49 times 5 in case number 4 we write these factors 2 times a minus 1 times 2 times b minus 1 equal to 49 times 5 so this is 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 will be equal to 49 and 2b minus 1 2b minus 1 will be equal to 5 from this equation add 1 to both sides this implies that 2a is equal to 50 and this implies that a is equal to 25 from this equation add 1 to both sides this will become 2 times b is equal to 6 and this implies that b is equal to 3 so from this case we get value of a 25 and value of b 3 now we solve case number 5 in case 5 we have 7 times 35 in case number 5 we write these factors 2 times a minus 1 times 2 times b minus 1 equal to 7 times 35 so this 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 will be equal to 7 and this 2 times b minus 1 will be equal to 35 this equation if we add 1 to both sides this implies that 2 times a is equal to 8 and this implies that a is equal to 4 from this equation if we add 1 to both sides this implies that 2 times b is equal to 36 
divide both sides by 2 this implies that b is equal to 18 so from this case we get the value of a 4 and value of b 18 now we solve the last case case number 6 in case 6 we have 35 times 7 in case number 6 we write uh, these factors uh, 2 times uh, a minus 1 times uh, 2 times uh, b minus 1 equal to 35 times 7 so we write this 2a minus 1 2a minus 1 equal to 35 and uh, 2 times uh, b minus 1 equal to 7 if we add 1 to both sides of this equation this implies that uh, 2 times a is equal to 36 and a will be equal to 18 from this equation if we add 1 to both sides this implies that uh, 2 times b is equal to 8 and b will be equal to 4 so from this last case we find that uh, a is equal to 18 and b is equal to 4 so from all the six cases we have found that uh, first pair is uh, first pair is uh, 1 comma 123 and the second is uh, 123 comma 1 and third pair is uh, 3 comma 25 and fourth pair is uh, 25 comma 3 and the fifth pair is uh, 4 comma 18 and sixth pair is uh, 18 comma 4 so the final set of solutions of uh, a comma b is equal to first pair is uh, 1 comma 123 and the second is uh, 123 comma 1 and the second is uh, 3 comma 25 and fourth is uh, 25 comma Three and uh, fifth is uh, four comma eighteen and uh, sixth is uh, eighteen comma four. This is the final answer of uh, this problem.